What's going on guys? So today I have another trade video. Would you believe that? So as I mentioned in the other ones, I had double digit trades this week. Uh, on average, I'd say I probably get between one and maybe three to five trades, somewhere in that range, like one to five, I would say, but more commonly like uh, average three. Um, there's, there's very rare, but there's weeks that I just have no trades and there's weeks that I have 20 trades, if you could believe it. Uh, this week was up there. 14, maybe 15, 16, somewhere around there. Um, I honestly can't keep count. Um, but this is one of them, so I wanted to share with you guys. I mean, I got a ton of spider codes this week, uh, but that wasn't even the focus. The focus is on some uh, some older knives, some vintage knives, some hard to find knives. But this one was very exciting, even though I love spider codes, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's just like spider code, spider code, spider code, spider go, spider go. Oh, I got spider go, spider go, spider go, spider go. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. It's fine. Um, and this is cool, by the way. This Spyderco we have here is the Spidey Chef, all right, which never had it before, so I figured why not? Got to check it out. Um, but this, this was the winner because we have a Bradford knife here, the Guardian 3, okay? And that is a knife that I've wanted. It's been in my crosshairs for months and months and months. I first, I don't even know when I first saw it. It's, it's not even a new knife. Everyone has them, you know what I'm saying? But people talk about it. They talk about it. I get messages. Hey, did you try, did you ever try this? Did you have this to trade? And I just kept hearing about it over and over again. I knew eventually I'd have to have it. And it was offered in trade and I grabbed it as soon as I could. So let's start there. Let's look at this Bradford. I also have a very nice sheath that came with it. This is the architect sheath made in America. All right. Cause this actually comes with a nice leather sheath also made in America, the knife and sheath. All right, this is the decal, obviously, for the, the sheet there. Decal for, let's see, Armatus Carry. All right. Card for Armatus Carry. And Bradford card. And Bradford Special Care Instructions. That's in the box. Let's put all that stuff back in the box. And I love decals, by the way. I really do. They're nice uh, additions. I love throwing them on the gun safe, gun cabinets, things like that. So this knife, like I said, just been just dying to try it. Absolutely dying to try it. Nice leather sheath. Uh, I actually, I'm very glad that he happened to have this sheath because I will probably carry it in this one. Um, although it's a very cool knife, I don't think this whole look, whole feel goes with leather. I love leather. Mm, smells good. Oh, wait a minute. That's weird. You know what that smells like? I mean, it's leather. <sighs> that smells exactly like Dollar General. Now hear me out. Uh, initially, that doesn't sound good, right? Like, hmm, what's that smell like? It smells like Dollar General. It sounds negative, <laughs> but it's not. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know. Every Dollar General smells the same to me, and so does the sheath. So, who knows? Maybe maybe it works at Dollar General. I have no idea. But um, that's what it smells like to me. But like I said, this is, it's a beautiful sheath. It's very nicely made. It has a nice uh, fit to it once I actually get the blade centered. Um, so, it's kind of snug. It's not going to accidentally fall out or anything. I do like the horizontal carry, which is pretty neat. But it's just like I said, the overall feel to me is a little bit more tactical for this one. So that's where the sheath comes in, which we'll take a look at real quick. And I really want to neck carry this. So although I like these, you know, tech lock style uh, lock or uh, attachment points uh, for the belt, I will probably take it off and just neck carry this. Um, I do usually like two eyelets that are even on top. I don't want to use these two here because then it's going to carry like on an angle. So I'll probably just end up using the one on top. So it carries straight. But I mean, if you could picture it without that on there, it's pretty aggressive looking, very aggressive looking. I like the flare on here. Very functional though. All right. Snaps in nice. There's no, no uh, play at all. It's not going to fall out, but it's very easy to retrieve that. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? This just kind of fits this knife a little bit better. But here it is. And this one is in M390 and the previous owner put a wicked um mirror polished edge on there okay which you can clearly see as i rotate through and you can see that the red let's keep the red of the camera the recording let's ride that to the tip of the blade here <laughs> the reflection of the recording red button whatever the light right to the tip okay so i don't know why i felt the need to do that but yeah he did a, a good job putting a mirror edge on that um yeah, initial impressions, it feels good. I like it. I like this textured scale. What's cool about these uh, Guardians is there's so many different, like, I don't know, finishes and colors and textures. 
You can get this smooth. You can get it textured like this. You can get a different, you know, color on the blade if you want a black one or, or you know, a stone wash finish or whatever. So there's so many different flavors, if you will, but I dig this one. I would definitely pick the M390. There are different steels available as well. Um, but this one is just, it was perfect. If I actually went to pick my favorite one, this would definitely have been up there with like probably the top five, maybe even the top three. So I'm very happy with this trade. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in here for now and put this stuff off to the side. Put this back in the back here. We're gonna take a look at that Spidey Chef, all right? Which is supposed to be a chef's knife inspired spider co. All right, so if you want to have your chef knife in your EDC, this would be the one to get. So let's see, check it out. Interesting, interesting. Oh, also put the beautiful polished edge. I mean, look at that, look at it glistening. This one's hitting the, I have like a chandelier overhead and this thing looks like a diamond. Look at that. I feel like those are all the flashes, you know, like the celebrity on the red carpet. But uh, yeah, so let's see. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. Frame lock, smooth. What's interesting too on this one, and I might actually carry this one and review it. Um, can't really do the Spidey Fleck because the back, the, the hole is obviously half enclosed there, but it's fully exposed on the front with the cutout so you can access it very easily on the front. And again, this has, I almost wanted to say a Sandoku style blade, but it's really not. Uh, I guess it's somewhat reminiscent of that. But again, this is supposed to have that feel of like, you know, a kitchen knife. It doesn't jump out as a kitchen knife designed to me like, you know, off the cuff or just initially. Um, but it's still a cool knife. I still dig it. It's still comfortable. I like, I mean, it's fairly thin. That's what kind of stands out on this. It does seem fairly thin. I love the wire clips. God, I'm such... I'm a wire clip fanboy. Uh, I wish every knife had the wire clip from Spider Co. It's just a cool, cool preference of mine. But yeah, this one will probably see some use and maybe do a review on it eventually. So there it is. Very happy with the trade. The Bradford Guardian 3, the Spider Co. Spidey Chef, and of course the uh, the extra sheath for that uh, that Guardian 3, uh, which I will absolutely neck carry. Okay, I just gotta find the right setup. I might go with the ball and chain necklace um, and just use that that single grommet hole that's on the top there. So that's all. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section your trades recently. Always curious to hear other stuff and what they're getting uh, in trade. And, uh, and that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.